God loves you. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. But the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the one who trusts in Him. Psalms chapter 32 verse 8 and 10 Sometimes, we find ourselves in what appears to be an impossible situation. When it seems we are standing alone, we're tempted to forget about all that God has been to us and what He had done in our lives. We wrap ourselves in self-pity and clothe our minds in darkness. We see all the things that have gone wrong while failing to recognize the abundant blessing that we have. We allow ourselves to be crushed by those who reject us and fail to appreciate that there are others who love us. Even mighty men of God like Elijah experience moments of discouragement and fear. Elijah had just had a spectacular victory in the Mount Carmel over the false prophets of Baal. God had rained down fire from heaven in response to his prophet's bold assertion that Jehovah was the only true and living God. Elijah had been a courageous and effective spokesperson for God's glory. Now, quench Jezebel's wrath reduced this mighty man of valor to a quavering, whimpering, dejected soul. He feared for his life. In the depths of Elijah's despair, God sent an angel with food to nourish and sustain him. God also has innumerable ways to encourage and nurture us. Once in a moment of doubt about my ministry, I said, I'm not sure if I'm enough. My friend said, you're enough. I was concerned about my weight. My friend said, stop thinking about what you can't eat and focus on all the things that you can eat. We are not alone. That's just an illusion. God has promised to be with us always. In His generosity, He also sends people to love and care for us. Have you become so discouraged by the disappointments and dark moments of your life that you want to throw your hands up in despair and like Elijah said, I have had enough, Lord? Have you thrown in the towel, given up the fight? Be encouraged, children of God. You are not alone. God has a plan and a place for you. He has extraordinary ways and means to sustain you. He loves you. Beverly P. Garden I would love to hear from you. Comment down below your thoughts about this devotion.